Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Friday, made it through the week. Here we are for another weekend. Um, got a few things today. I got home from work and there was some packages outside. One of them was a thing of coffee for my wife. I ordered her Starbucks coffee online. It's cheaper that way and easier to get. But the other thing all the way from, from China is my recoil starter. I'm hoping it's the right one. I don't know because I don't know the exact model of the, the motor, the engine it's going on. Couldn't find anywhere in the engine. This just fits multiple champion engines, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess it fits. We'll see. If not, it was like 13 bucks. I don't recall exactly how much, but something like that. Maybe it'll stay on here. No, it doesn't. Anyway, there we go. All the way from building three, number 31, Zhanling Road. Zhanlin Street, Yonghong, Hangzhou, China. There we go. Didn't take long to get here at all. A lot less than, than I thought. Um, so I got that. The only thing that bugs me is I ordered specifically, there were numerous sellers of this, and some of them came with the, the, the hardware, the screws, and some of them didn't. I specifically chose one that came with the screws, and there were no screws to be had. I got screwed on the screws. So, yeah. What are you gonna do? But we'll see, hopefully it, it works. So I went to the homey, homey desk pot, picked up some paint. I'm going to paint the frame of the, the go-kart red. Um, at least that's what I think so far. If not, red's always handy. I use red for all sorts of stuff. Uh, picked up some other stuff for, for around the house, the yard. Um, I bought a sink at I think it was Princess Auto. It's just an outdoor sink that connects to your garden hose and garden, your your outdoor faucet, your spigot, spigot faucet, whatever. Um, and it, it you just screw it to, I'm gonna put it beside our, our deck, you can't see. Our deck out there for washing the hands after gardening. I just needed this little extension bit to get a little bit away from the house so I can attach the splitter leave the sink connected to it all the time and the garden hose as we use it. So that was it. Anyway, I didn't even check. Does this have a washer in it? Oh no, what have I done? There we go. Oh, it does have a washer. Okay, sometimes they don't come with washers. And a washer in that end also. It's all good. And I bought some hardware. I wasn't sure exactly what size, so I bought some extras. Pretty sure these are the ones I'm going to need. And they're six mil by half inch. These are flat heads. Um, I'd like to replace them with a, a uh, Allen head or hex head eventually, but for now these will do and they were the right price. They were like 30 cents each or something. Some washers. I will take you over there and put this on with my big, big Milwaukee screwdriver. I love this thing. It's an awesome screwdriver. I beat the hell out of it and it takes a licking and keeps on ticking as the saying goes. Those of you who are old enough to remember the Timex commercials. Um, so we'll move you over here to the cart. Let's see if we can bring you down. Take you down a peg or two. Let's see. Yeah, that ought to, ought to suffice. You can see what I'm doing there. Okay, so take screws. I bought the split washers for them. Um, why split washers? I don't know. Some guys like split washers, some don't. I have no opinion. They were just the first thing I grabbed. So there you have it. Okay. Seems about good. Get the first one in. Through there. They have to be short enough so they don't hit the fins on the on the flywheel, the cooling fins. So it's tricky finding them. I, now I do hate flat flat-headed fasteners, but they'll do in a pinch. 
that one. And just hold on, un momento. Un momento, por favor. Look at me speaking Spanish. Sure, all you guys out there in YouTube land are impressed with my multilinguist. Just right there. Come on. Right. Get my kneeling pad. Get my knees suck. Um, I think there's another screw hole here. Oh, just hold on a second here. Let me pause this and get a better view. You guys don't need to watch me juggling this, so just hang on a second here. Right, yeah, I'm back. Got it in. Took a while. Bit of a pain in the butt. Because not all the holes that go around the flywheel cover are, are threaded or tapped. There's just some blank holes. Don't really know the purpose. I suppose if I took it off, I could. Never mind. Neither here nor there. Turn the switch on. Do a little choke. Make sure the fuel's on all the way. And good works good um, wasn't sure what color it was I was pretty sure it was black on the the ad on eBay but it's red as you can see which is fine by me it matches my air cleaner cover dealy or my carb cover that leads up to the air cleaner um, and it works that's the most important thing fits and works what am I doing Bingo bongo, she's good to go. So, that's about it for now. Um, yeah, it's it works, everything's awesome. I'm still on the lookout for a dirt bike engine. Putting the legs up. Just a second here. So yeah, I'm still on the lookout for a, preferably a 125cc dirt bike engine, but for now this will be fun for cruising around, if I find a place to cruise around. We'll do a video, oh, that's what I was gonna do. One more thing I was gonna show you guys, bring you back over here to the workbench. Princess Auto has these on sale all the time. I've actually got one in my car. Um, Duro U-Grip Road Series Dash Cam. DVC 100, DVR road dash video camcorder, 140 degree angle, captures full view of the road, strong suction mount, screen rotates 120 degrees, Sin six infrared LEDs for night vision, recording, supports up to 32 gigabyte memory card. Um, what else to say? Used by law enforcement, industrial, commercial, and consumer user to create video records for access, to create video records, okay. Um, 720 resolution, good enough. That's usually all I ever upload to YouTube on. Um, but yeah, as I've said, I've got one of these. I have dish dash cams in all the cars, but I've got one of these. This was the first style of dash cam I had, and it was a different company, but I'm sure they're all made in the same sweatshop in China somewhere. My children with little tiny hands. Let's get that stuff out there. So it comes with a charge cord adapter, um, cable for connecting it to com your computer, this is your suction mount, and this is the camera itself. Um, I've been really happy, the one I have I've been using for years and I paid a lot more than this for it. This one at Princess Auto is 20 bucks on sale, regular 39 or something. And there's the screen flips out, as they say it rotates. 
all the way around. Uh, it's got a power button. I don't know what that one is. It's a little different. Mine has a snapshot button that I can take a quick snap. Um, this would be where your something goes. Probably be better off to read the instructions, but instructions are for suckers. I just like to break shit. Okay, I'm not going to do that. That'll break. Um, this would be where the SD card goes, I'm assuming. I'd assume right. So there goes the SD card in that side. Standard size SD, good. I don't like the mini SDs. You got to use the adapter on them. And this is, yeah, the cord for connecting it to your computer and the charge cable. Um, yeah, that's it. And the suction mounts. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the battery. Where does the battery go? Oh. How convenient. I don't know how long the battery lasts. I'll have to check the instructions on that. But the battery appears to just go in like that. Cover goes back on. I doubt it's got any charge on it at all. We can have a look. Well, it's got some power. It's your peel off protective layer. There we go. And again, like I said, you can turn the screen. So I'm going to try that out for a, a mount on the, the go-kart. If not, I'll throw, I, I wanted a back cam for my car anyway, for my, my daily that I used for work, a rearward facing cam. So I'll use this for that if it comes down to it and pick up a used GoPro type thing or something or a cheap, um, as, uh, Mike on, on Grampy's, oh, my mind's drawing a blank, Grampy's Workshop, whatever it is. I'll post a link down below to his channel. Check out his channel. He's a great guy with a great channel, lots of good stuff, very informative, um, lots of how-to stuff, stuff around the house, around his, his cabin, his cottage. Um, really knowledgeable guy, really super nice guy. I encourage everyone to go check out his channel. But um, there was a reason I brought him up. Now I can't think of it. Oh, yeah, he had mentioned that uh, Amazon has a inexpensive GoPro-type camera. And I'm all about the inexpensive thing. I think he said it was like $20 or something. Or Basically, anything under 50 to me is good. See, I can figure out a way to mount this. Like, I can put two-sided tape on the suction cup and stick it virtually anywhere. You don't need the screen down for it to work. So, the screen's just so you can see what you're doing, what you're filming, but... Don't really need that if I find a place to mount it. And if it gets broken or falls off and gets run over, then it's, I'm not gonna cry about 20 bucks. Um, I've spent 20 bucks on worse things, that's for sure. Are you happy with this product? I don't know. It does have a warranty, but again, it was from a, the liquidation section of Princess Auto, so I don't know what kind of warranty if this company's even still around. But yeah, it's all Pretty standard stuff, transfer files to your PC, troubleshooting, blah, blah, blah. They're all pretty simple. Like I said, it's, it's pretty much exactly like the one I already have. So you'll probably be seeing more of this in the, the future, in future videos. The night vision on the one I have works fabulous. It's also, I don't know if this one does, but it, mine has a, the one I already have has a motion thing. So if somebody bumps the car, it re starts recording right away. Motion detecting recording. Don't know if that counts. Uh, continuous recording camera records whenever your vehicle is running. When the memory is full, it automatically overwrites the oldest file and keeps on recording. So that's perfect. Anyway, so that's it. Um, like I said, check out Grampy's, Grampy's channel. I'll post a link down below, down there. Um, go check him out, say hi to him. Some of you guys are already subscribed to him, I know. I see you guys commenting there when I go and watch his videos. I watch like every one of his videos because they're great. I like his stuff. So again, I encourage you guys to check him out. And he really does deserve more viewers. I think if more people watched him, he'd get more people watching him. Because it's, it's kind of like an unknown thing, you know. Once a couple people discover it, word of mouth gets around and all of a sudden everybody's watching it. So hopefully that'll happen for him. Nice guy with a great channel. So that's it. And I'll probably make another video later this weekend to do some more go-kart stuff. 
if it ever stops raining, we'll go for a ride with the camera and you guys can see what it's like. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and take care of yourselves.